Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about drip feed types. So, a drip feed is a course where the units or the course content is available after a certain period of time. In WPLMS, we provide five kind of drip feed content, which are categorized in static drip, unit duration drip, section drip, unit duration section drip and unit start date time all of these drip formats we will we are going to see in this tutorial so let's get started for the first type which is the static drip we need to configure the drip from the course settings in the settings section we need to enable drip and we will set the drip feed type as unit and drip feed duration type as static and we can set the duration between the two consecutive course elements that is units and quizzes as one minute for testing purpose and we are going to save So now when we start this course, so if we try to access any unit, we would not be able to access it. So the first unit is accessible by default and the access time is being used by the next unit to show when the unit will be available. So for this course we have set the duration as static 1 minute and as you can see we now have 34 seconds left after which we can view this unit in the course. So next is the unit duration drip. For this trip, we will need to go to the settings and set the drip feed duration type as unit duration and save. So what this will do is, is instead of static duration between the units, it will convert into dynamic duration. So for example, if we go to the curriculum section and we edit the first unit for every unit we have defined the unit duration so if we set the unit duration as 50 seconds then the next unit will be available after 50 seconds so we are going to reset the course so now if we start the course, so the unit duration is 50 seconds and if I access the next unit, it will, it says it will be available in 45 seconds. So after 45 seconds, this unit is available and the unit duration for this unit is 30 minutes so the next unit will be available in 30 minutes so the important point to note here is that the unit duration determines when the next unit will be available so you can force the user to spend x amount of time on a unit using this feature so next is the section drip So here we will set the drip feed type as section and drip feed duration as static and 5 minutes as the static duration between two successive sections. So a section is, is a collection of units and quizzes in the, in the course. So for this curriculum we have 
three sections section 1 section 2 and section 3 so now if we test this we start the course so we'll be able to access the units in a section but as soon as we try to access the unit in another section it will display the time so here instead of unit access conditions we we have switched to the section access conditions so now if we reduce this to 10 seconds for demo purpose so here we can access the units the next section will be available in 10 seconds so the time duration is calculated based on the access time of the first unit in the section so now this section is available for access similarly the next section will be available after 10 seconds so the time is calculated based on the access time of the first unit in the previous section so this is how section drip works now if we set this uh, set the drip feed duration type to unit duration and the drip feed type to section it will add the durations of the units in the section so for example our first unit is of 50 seconds in duration and the second unit is of 70 seconds and now if we access the course so we need to reset the course so that the unit access time can be reset durations accurately so now we start the course so this is so the first unit is for 50 seconds second unit is for 70 seconds so the first unit of the next section is available after two minutes so again the access time is calculated from the first from the access time of the first unit of the previous section so this is how the section drip with unit duration works so now the last type is the start date time for the units for this we need to go to the LMS settings and we need to enable start date time for the units next if we now edit the course and go to the curriculum So we'll see a new field in the unit settings called access date and access time. So for this we need to make sure that the that the time zone is set correctly in WordPress settings so as you can see this is the local time so we need to set the unit access time So now if we access so it will be available on the exact timestamp that we have set for in the unit settings that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching